doors of that signal must be close. I got news for you, Red. Sand getting into every nook and cranny. Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah, my steel flame friend. Behold. Oh, your lockbox. The one I found in the tunnel. Just the one. It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. Never could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Master to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, not dainty. <laughs> well forged. That's it. Poor Gaff. All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in chain scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I can ask her. Ha <laughs> ha! Well forged and well connected. If I'm in the area, I will try to find your sister. At least to hear her side of the story. Okay. Well, if you see Marsha, tell her. I still remember the flying kid. I bet Petra would know where I can find Marsa. I should pay her a visit the next time I'm in chain scrape. Got something you'll want to hear, Red. If you're feeling bold, there's a Tanakh outpost nearby. The rebel kind. Aloy, it's Kotalo. I've heard the arena is still closed following the cool route. Something about a problem with the ballista. Perhaps you could help. Machine fights provide good training for our soldiers. And for you too, if you're interested. I'm sure it would be a spectacle. There are considerable rewards to mark your victories. I'll see what I can do next time I'm at the Grove. So that signal must be close.
I'm flying up here. Better galore. No, you see me. Wait up! I regret everything. Well, look who's back. No one wants to play strike. Make no? sparks fly out anyway. there. How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking, giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. And thanks to your handiwork, I got my hands full getting this place into shape. I guess you found the right place. Guess I did. Has Talland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. His shop got closed down not long after Olven got the boot. So, he cleared out of town. Took his goons with him, too. Good riddance, I say. The concession decree Olven wanted, what was it exactly? And how would it have helped him? Big ol' pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would have put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would have meant that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olven had a stake in all those claims, it would have made him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would have become an Osra municipality, so he could have bought enough votes to call himself an elder man. <sighs> He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Almost got away with it, too. Hey. I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chainscrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. 
Best of luck wading into that muck. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. You're in the market, bro. Round up! He's giving me a bad time. Or did you miss that part? Interested, there's an ostrom close by offering salvage contracts. Petra said Porgov's sister should be working around here. I have a feeling she won't be thrilled to hear from her brother. But at least she'll get her lockbox back. Marsa? Yeah? What's it to- Oh! The Normie? How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother Porgov out west. He asked me to give you this. My ma's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock too. Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh, so he's dead then? No. Uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh, then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Let's see here. A jewel. Hm. Surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family so much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgov read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgoth got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgoth still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure, but he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> Think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he 
Look okay? As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean, I heard some folks are headed out that way, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. So that signal must be close. 